So for those of you that are unfamiliar with ChatGPT, it is a very powerful AI language model that was released a couple of months ago by a company called OpenAI. And within only the first five days of its release, it already had one million users. Today, we're gonna to talk about how this tool can change the way that you learn. I like to think of it as having a personal tutor available to you 24 seven. To use ChatGPT, you need to navigate to this link. I linked it down below in the description. You have to create an account and then you can start a new chat. By default, you see here, there's a free version available to you that's GPT 3.5. If you would like to use the latest model, GPT 4, you do have to pay a subscription that's $20. So for this video today, all the examples that I'm showing you are the GPT 3.5 model. So let's get into the ways that it can actually help you learn. Here's an example where I write that I'm a beginner breaking into tech and as a beginner, I have no idea where to start, but I know that I wanna pursue data science. I'm giving ChatGPT a time frame of 20 hours a week that I can devote to learning and a goal of how quickly I wanna land a job. So it looks like it gave me a plan of four different steps, learn the basics, dive into data science, build projects, network and collaborate. It did not give me a week to week breakdown. Now let's ask ChatGPT to be a little bit more specific and give us a week to week breakdown of this curriculum. Based off of the week breakdown, like this is a lot. I'm seeing on week one, two, programming Python or R, just learning the whole language in one week. Unreasonable, completely unreasonable. For this one, I think it actually makes all the difference to have GPT-4 when you're asking this type of learning planning question because look at the difference. I'm just pasting in the exact same question I asked 3.5. Not only did it take my initial prompt and give me a week by week breakdown, which the 3.5 didn't, giving me more information on specific things to learn and how to learn them and it's even providing me with resources. This is crazy. The resources here I would say are okay. Definitely just research things online, look up videos on specific topics on top of what they're giving you here. Since it gave me a week to week breakdown, I actually want it to give me a more specific breakdown for the first week. So let's ask it to do that. Y'all, this is really good. I am surprised at how much detail is going into for each day and how it's really laying things out step by step. Moving on to another way that ChatGPT can help you learn and that is by explaining hard topics in simple terms. I remember when I was first learning programming, one of the hardest things for me at first was recursion and I just could not wrap my mind around the concept. And so today we're gonna ask ChatGPT to explain recursion to us in a simple way. When I ask ChatGPT this type of question, I like to ask it as if I am 10 years old at the end so that it gives me a simple analogy that a 10 year old can understand. I think it does a pretty good job of this. And you guys, this answer is kind of cool. I love the analogy with Russian nesting dolls because I used to have those as a kid. My mom had a whole collection of Russian nesting dolls. If you apply a real world concept to a complex topic, it just makes it so much more understandable in like seconds. Another thing that I realized that ChatGPT is really helpful for learning is helping you understand snippets of code. Here's code for the Spotify project that I posted on YouTube last week. For example, if you're following along with the tutorial, which if you want to, you can watch it here, and you don't understand a piece of the code that I wrote, you can take that snippet of code, you can copy it, you can paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to give you a line by line analysis of what the code does. Looking through this, it looks like it did a really great job of summarizing each line of code for us. The next thing that I found ChatGPT helpful with with learning is refactoring your code. As a beginner, you sometimes write some real crappy code and you may not know how to improve it. I found that ChatGPT does a pretty good job of that. So here we're just gonna take a snippet of my code and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to refactor it. What I like about its response is that it gives you the refactored code, but more importantly, it tells you exactly what it changed and why. I think the why is super important because as a beginner, you need to know why it changed something to be quote unquote better. Overall, playing around with it. I've noticed that it does generally give you better suggestions to things that you've done. Sometimes it just changes something to change it without making it any better. It can be a little hit or miss. There are a couple of issues with this specific feature. Sometimes it refactors something saying, hey, this looks better, but it just doesn't work, which is literally counterproductive, right? So you need to test to make sure that it works. This next one is one of my favorite use cases for beginners. I am always telling you guys, do projects, do projects, do projects, but I remember being a beginner and being like, I don't even know what project to do and how to start it. And this is how ChatGPT can fix that. The next feature is using ChatGPT to think of project ideas. Here I told ChatGPT that I'm a beginner learning Python. I would like to solidify what I'm learning by doing projects. I'm not sure to where to start. Can you suggest a list of projects? And bam, it gave me 10 projects. In this case, if 
I decide, okay, I want to build a rock, paper, scissors project, it says here, write a Python program that allows the user to play the classic game of rock, paper, scissors against the computer. Well, that sounds fun. In programming, it's really important to break things down step by step. Here's how you can use ChatGPT to do that. So I wrote, I like the idea of a rock, paper, scissors game without giving away any of the code. Can you give me a step by step guide on how I can do this project? Good old ChatGPT gave me, sure, here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a rock, paper, scissors game in Python. And there is a bunch of steps. GPT did mess up here because I said without giving away any of the code, and guess what? Under those steps, it gave away the code. So that means that maybe we need to rewrite the prompt better to actually not give away the code. And so instead of saying without giving away the code, how about we try saying do not write any code at the end of the statement. And perfect, here it gave me a step-by-step -step guide on how to create rock, paper, scissors game without any code. This project now feels a lot more doable to someone who's a beginner and doesn't know where to start. Another wonderful thing that ChatGPT can do with learning is help you with the debugging process. As a beginner, it can be really tempting to just immediately go to ChatGPT when you have a problem with your code and you can't figure it out. But I do challenge you to give yourself a little bit of time to struggle and try to figure it out. In that struggling time, you actually learn a lot about you, about your code. But after a certain period of time that you've been blocked on this issue, ask ChatGPT. So here I am copying my code that has an issue. I'm pasting it into ChatGPT and I'm asking it to find the issue with my code. And right away it spots that there's a typo in my variable naming. I forgot the E at the end of name. Super helpful. One more thing that I think ChatGPT is incredibly helpful with is translating one language to another. And I'm gonna give you an example that you are absolutely going to love. So here on LeetCode, which is a platform that you can use to practice your data structures and algorithms, you can view the solutions, but the solutions are limited to C++, Python, and Java. So for example, if you're solving the problem in JavaScript, well, you just got to look at the other solutions to kind of figure out, well, is my solution match? Here we're using ChatGPT, so all we have to do is copy it, and then we can ask ChatGPT to translate that code, say, to JavaScript. This is so helpful, guys. If you enjoyed this video and got some helpful tips out of it, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below what else you've used ChatGPT for that you have found helpful. Below, I have linked my Patreon account where I post weekly blog posts where you can support me, and I look forward to next week's video for you guys.